Hi there, it's the Automation and today with a video on uh, how to deploy your resources in Azure the easy way with uh, using uh, bicep templates and switch to the screen. I have a small drawing here about uh, an, an environment I want to build. It's just, uh, uh, I'm not going to use it actually, but it's just for demo purposes. So uh, basically I want to have a, a VNet with like an address range. I want some subnets. I want to have a gateway subnet as well for a VPN gateway so I can access my environment based on private IP addresses from my home machine with a VPN client. And so I don't want anything here publicly available. Everything needs to be private. Um, I also have some network security groups here so we can uh, add some uh, files, firewall rules and filtering and such on the networks. We have a key fault. That key fault will also be, have a firewall enabled so only my admin PC can actually access that key fault and nobody else. And in the process, we also have some networks and some network interfaces, and we're going to deploy a Linux VM and a Windows VM. So that's basically, in a nutshell, what I want to deploy as a small environment, you know, to start with and from here, you can of course build it up. And I want to do it from scratch. So we have nothing, we have no code, we have no environment, we have an, uh, basically an empty resource group inside of Azure. And uh, let me show that. Azure. So this is uh, an empty resource group that you see here on the screen. There's nothing in it currently. And uh, we're going to populate this uh, from scratch. So uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about pre-baking bicep files, you know, and then you can just see me executing it. Uh, uh, the approach I'm now trying to use is a little bit more uh, intense, of course, takes more time, but perhaps uh, you learn more from it as well. And I'm not the, the most experienced guy either. I need to Google as well from time to time. Uh, but I know my way around in Bicep at least a little bit. So uh, I think we can, uh, we can start off building this uh, fantastic environment that I, uh, I draw here. Okay. So let's see. Um, let's go to the VNet creation. Currently we have nothing. I only have an empty folder. So let's start by creating a file. And we call it uh, vnet.bicep. Uh, Okay. And what do we want to deploy? We want to deploy a virtual network. So we just start very small. So a resource, uh, and we call it the VNet. I think that's a nice name. And it's a type virtual networks, I think. Yeah. No, 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 I'm quite sure that's not it. See, I'm also making mistakes. Uh, virtual networks. This one, it's rather. And I take the latest API version. I press space. I press uh, tab completion, I press space, and I do the required property. So let's see what we need to provide. Okay, only a name for a VNet. That's interesting. So let, let's see if it, this gets accepted. Let's call it uh, Dev VNet. Okay. I think that's, that's quite okay. Dev VNet. And uh, I think we need to specify more. So let's control space. And let me also perhaps make the editor a little bit bigger still, perhaps another size. And another will be very big, I think, but it's still doable. Okay. So what I do now is control space again, and I'll see some properties here, I think. So let's go to the properties by pressing top, and then I press the space bar again, and then I press the top key again. And then I press control space again, because I honestly don't know what I'm doing. And here we have an address space. And I think that has something to do with uh, the drawing I created. So address prefixes. Again, we need to open that. And then we probably need to provide the value here because I see no options. So let's go back to the drawing I created. And I decided to use this network range, right? Okay, so let's stick to that range. Let's try to provide that here as a value. 10.10.10.0 10 10 10 slash 21. I think that's allowed. Uh, it's quite valid for sure. And um, yeah, let's open a shell, a terminal specifically. 
And let's try to actually deploy this VNet now. So it's very small. I mean, we start very small. Later we create some subnets. Let's see if this simple concept works, like right? building it up slowly. And at some point, of course, we're gonna move these things to a parameter, right? Make it more dynamic. Uh, but that's for later. So um, I assume you know how bicep works, by the way. And if you don't know how it works, then uh, I guess you need to uh, first install it. And you can find it on the internet. And uh, to run a bicep file, I do that with PowerShell. You can do it with AC as well. And I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm trying to find a command. And it's, I think it's this one. And with this command line, this new AC resource group deployment, you can specify minus resource group, group name. That will be dev. We created that. Minus template file. And then we specify the current working directory, backspace, and I think we called it vnet.bicep, right? And we specify the mode incremental, so it's not, uh, every time you run it, it's not wiping basically the current uh, configuration and rebuilding it, but it's uh, it's incremental. And we do a verbose, so you, you can also see what's happening. And let's run this. Uh, perhaps I made a mistake, I don't know. Um, okay, something is happening at least. And let's see, and uh, the location property is required. You see that? I made a mistake. And it says here the location property is required for this definition. And uh, that makes sense, I think. So uh, we probably have a location here. You see that? We have that location equals, and we can do some magic here. We can first do the resource group. Then you have the dot location inside of that. We make it a little bit nicer later. For now, that's fine. We can ignore the squiggly lines. Uh, we address that at a later stage. So let's clear the screen here, run our deployment again, and see if we get the VNet. Or well, perhaps we made the, I made another mistake. I don't know. So let's see. And now we got succeeded. Let's look inside of Azure and see if our first component that we wanted to build, our VNet, is there. And uh, let's go to the drawing. And the requirement was this address range. So let's go back to this and see if that address range was actually properly set. Uh, address space, yes. So let me see if I want to configure more. We'll do the subnets later. Let's see if we have some pairings. No, I don't have anything else. I want to configure on the VNet level. So we're fine now on the VNet. So that's, that's quite cool. So let's go back to this drawing. So now we have a VNet. And basically we need to have some subnets in place, right? And um, let's have a look at that. Uh, actually, I don't want to make the video too long. So I think I stick by the VNet for now. So very, very basic. We set up the VNet now. In the next video, we will set up the subnets. And the video after that, we set up the VPN gateway and such and such. Otherwise, it will be way too long video. I just realized that. So uh, thanks for watching. We now have a VNet. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we deploy the subnets. See ya. Bye.